In this tips and tricks video, I'll be showing how you can integrate the Granta selector within ANSYS Workbench. Here I just have a window of the of ANSYS Workbench open right now. And from ANSYS 2019 R3 onward, the Granta selector is available to be directly integrated within Workbench. So you'll see down here under component systems, there is now a Granta selector tool. And you can just drop that in your ANSYS Workbench page in order to create a, an L, a system for the Granta selector. And I'm just going to go ahead and open it and show you how you can select a material within it and then take that into ANSYS Mechanical. Now that the Granta selector is open, I'm just going to search mater uh, for a material to use in this example. And in this example, I'm going to search for aluminum 6061. Once I find the material that I want, all I have to do is hit right click, export to engineering data. And you can choose which type of model you want to export. Uh, I have a temperature dependent and temperature independent model. I'm just going to choose independent for now. Hit OK. And now you'll see that this data has been exported to Workbench. Now that we are back in the Workbench project page, I'm going to open up my engineering data just to make sure that that aluminum 6061 imported into the engineering data field correctly. And you'll see that it appears now under this engineering data with all the different properties that we found in the Granta selector. If I want to link this to a current analysis, for example, a static structural analysis, I can just drag this engineering data field onto the model branch here. This concludes this video for the integration of the Granta selector into uh, ANSYS Workbench. Thank you for watching.